for this little uh, Virgin Mary, what I have right now, it's uh, a bowl of paste in color flesh. Everybody can make a bowl out of paste. So this is about a, a little less than one inch. And I'm going to put this aside. That's going to be the head. Now, I have a bowl of paste in color pink of about um, qu um, uh, one and a quarter inch. Um, of inch. And I'm going to smooth it like this. Always need your paste before you start any project. It should be clean. You shouldn't have any lines. Now what I'm going to make is a little cone because this is going to be the body. And I'm going to flatten the top and the bottom part. Like this over the table. And with my fingers and my, my hands, I'm going to flatten the bottom like that. It should look like this. Now, with the knife, I'm going to make some um, indentations, little lines, like so. Because this is going to simulate the uh, bottom part of the gown. The Virgin of Guadalupe, she has uh, a pink, dark pink um, gown. So... Um, I'm going to stick a little um, a toothpick with some glue in it. Remember, if you're using uh, gum paste or fondant, use edible glue, and the technique is the same, exactly the same uh, technique. So I put some more glue on the top of the um, toothpick, and I'm going to stick the head like so. This is a very, very basic technique to start with the cold porcelain or any modeling if you're using a gum paste. Okay, the body and the head. I'm going to put put that one aside and I'm going to start with the arms. For the arms, I have two little balls, like uh, less than um, half an inch. I'm going to make like a little sausage. One side has to be um, now, um, thinner than the other one like so and do the same the same thing with the other one make sure both of them are the same size the same length and the same uh, width so um, I can see that one this one is a little bigger so I'm going to cut a little bit and um, roll it again make sure they uh, they look almost the same Make sure all the edges are smooth and clean. Now with my knife, I'm going to make three cuts. This is to make it look a little bit nicer, uh, more detailed. So three cuts and it should look like this. Now do the same thing with the other one. One, two, and three cuts. Like that. It looks like a little flower. Now. I'm going to make two cuts in the center and fold it like so and do the same thing with the other one. One, two cuts, fold it and make the little elbow like that. Now I'm going to take some glue. You need just a little tiny bit of glue. You don't need that much glue. With the gum paste or fondant, you're going to need a little bit more, but with the uh, cold porcelain, you just need a little bit. And place them on each side of the gown or the body, like so. Very nice. I like that. Now I'm taking a little paste, a little bit of paste, flesh color. I'm going to make her hands. I'm making a little bowl first and then make a little teardrop shape like so. And what I'll do, I'm going to flatten it like so. And with my tool, I'm going to make a cut in the center, a line. 
in the center and this is going to simulate her hands praying. Isn't that nice? I love this technique. A little trick. And I'm going to place it between the arms like so. My beautiful Virgin Mary or Virgin of Guadalupe is taking place, I mean it's taking shape and, uh, and she's gonna look beautiful when we're done. Some glue and put the position the arms, I mean the uh, hands between the arms and now she's praying and she's praying for us. Cute. So cute. There we go. <coughs> like so. See how she looks? Nice. So we're going to the next step, which is the um, I cut um, like an oval in a green uh, with the with the knife. Just cut it with the knife. And this is going to be the man mantilla or veil. It has to be the same size, the, the same length, and, and a little bit longer on the top. We're gonna put that, that one aside and we're gonna cut in color yellow. It's uh, an oval, just the same, but this one's gonna be a little bit smaller. See, it has to be the same length, but just a little uh, smaller than the uh, than the uh, green one because this is going to simulate the the sun the rays of the sun so now what I have is um, brown paste I'm gonna make her hair so make a little bowl it's uh, this bowl is about um let me see um, like a, a little less than a, an inch one inch so I'm gonna flatten it with my fingers just like that, keep flattening it, making it thinner, thinner, and make it an oval, oval shape with your fingers. Just like that. You don't need anything else but your fingers. Just like that. And position it over the head to make sure that you have enough still uh, needs a little bit more keep doing it and I think this is fine position it over the head and make sure it's enough I think this is fine for her looks fine so what I'll do I'm going to put some glue in the center to glue it to the head my glue is not helping me it's a little bit dry so it's uh, it's giving me it's gonna give me a hard time because I left it open, but uh, it does the job. Now position, position it over the head. Make sure you have the head and the body, I mean, dry, like for a day before you do this. I I didn't do that. I mean, I'm doing it all in, uh, and it's already uh, it's. It's not dry, I'm doing it just for the video, but it's better if you wait, you know, like a day to do the, the head and the, uh, the mantella and because you don't want the pieces to deform. So with the knife, I'm making some little cuts uh, to simulate the hair. You don't need to do that much because the uh, mantella is gonna cover the head, but just the front. So it looks finished, it looks nicer. Like that. Just a little detail. Like so. See, the head, just the front. Now, the mantilla. Make sure when you cut it, all around make sure to clean the edges with your fingers like this so you don't have sharp edges so it looks rounded it looks more you know finished looks nicer on both sides like that soften all the edges 
So we're going to position it over the head with a little bit of glue, which is not helping me like that. Mm -hmm. Make sure you leave a little bit, you know, on the bottom. Doesn't have to be that long. I mean, let me reposition this to cover because it has to cover the whole head. Um, I think I have to take it out and uh, move it a little bit. There you go. This is better. So the mandila has to cover the whole head and make some little um, movements like like this so it's not that um there you go give it some some movement so it looks nicer cuter like that there you go it looks so nice like this all around it Take your time so you can do it nicer. I'm doing it very fast here. As I said, this is a very basic modeling. So I have this one. I do the same thing, you know, soften the edges from the uh, cutting tool all around on both sides. Just make sure you have a clean finish. Now I have this cutter. This is from, uh, to, from a set of mouth that I have. So I'm gonna use the other side and I'm gonna make the little um, picks from the, uh, from the sun. And I'm going to cut all over, all around the, uh, the sun, like this. This is gonna simulate like the rays of the sun. If you, I mean, if you need, you can move your paste instead of your, your hand with a cutter. So it makes it more like this. Cut all around. Like this. Move your paste. <coughs> and make sure to start from the top uh, to the sides and then end at, at, the, uh, at the bottom. So if there is some, uh, um, like this, the uh, finish is not the same, the last one, it's smaller, so it doesn't show that much if you put it on the back. So clean the edges with your fingers, like this, like that. So it's, it, it, it has a better finish. I'm making this for a friend of mine from church. She saw the little one that I made for the car and uh, she wanted it for her tree, for her Christmas tree. So made it a, big, a little bigger. So I glued the rays, the sun, to the back of the Virgin Mary. And now what I, I'm, I'm doing, this is a little cutter. Uh, it makes a little mouth. It is a set of mouth. I'm gonna use one of them, the smaller one, and make her a little, little mouth. like that now she has a mouth now what I'm doing is I'm, what I have to do now are her eyes so for that I have um, black acrylic paint and this is a star this this tool is very good for me I mean I use it a lot to make eyes so it has uh, uh, six points each one each end is a different size so for this um, project, I'm gonna use the number five. I'm gonna use the number five. <coughs> That's the number five. So I'm gonna dip it into the uh, paint. And I'm, I'm going to look for some paper or something. There. So dip, dip it into the paint and, and then paint the eye. And do the same thing for the other eye. Dip it, take it off a little bit, and then paint the other eye. 
Now she has eyes. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna clean my my tool. And now what we have to do is wait until the uh, black paint dries. So I can with the white paint, I'm gonna use the tip number one and do the same thing, the same procedure I did with the black and do it um, with a little dot. I have this one, the little one that I um, I was uh, talking about that I made for my car and for some of my friends from uh, church. I made, it, I made it smaller, but it's the same the same technique. Okay, um, it only the only thing is a little bigger. For this one, I'm going to show you. This one, I made a little hole on the um, sun, and I put a little um, how do you call this thing? The uh, brown thing for for that I, that you use for uh, to do the earrings. So I use it. So it's the same thing that I'm going to do for her. This is a, she wants it for her tree. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make the little hole and then put the um, the little um, ring in there. So she can, and I'm going to have the little you know gold uh, trim so she can hang it in her tree. And at the ends, on each uh, side, I, I put some orange at the edges. I painted a little bit of orange all around it. And now uh, with the marker, I put some uh, uh, um, gold dots. I use this marker. So I put a uh, gold dot in each of the ends of the rays of the sun. And on the veil, her veil has stars but since um, this is too small I don't I couldn't make the sun um, star so I just painted a little dots now with the black marker I'm going to paint her eyebrows just two little lines like this and with some uh, paint I mean not paint uh, uh, dust color I'm gonna put some uh, on her cheeks and now uh, she's done. And um, see, that's the smaller one. Uh, the bigger one, you can make it as a, you know, Christmas present for your friends, family. Don't forget the white paint. Um, well, I use my uh, my tool here, my star, and I'm gonna use the number one. Don't forget the number one. So you dip it in the white paint and make two little um, dots on each eye. And uh, she's done. I hope you like it. Um, make a lot of them. Give it as presents to your friends. For your friends. Um, you can do a lot of things with this uh, technique. A lot of virgins. Different uh, types of virgins. Um, uh, well, it's up to you now. See, this is the little one. And um, I hope you like it. Uh, leave me some comments. Um, subscribe to my channel. Have a great Christmas and I see you in the next video. Bye.